Last time on the Toast Reviews. Oh, what happened to the bad guy from Space Jab? What? Yeah, 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 we all know it. Hello from Lamb TV, this is King Cool. Welcome to the Toast Reviews. I have a tiny window of time I can uh, shoot this episode, so please bear with me. Today in the show, we are watching the former resident of the penalty box, White Chicks. And it was going to glow crud. That's a pair of scissors, watch out for that. And we were going to do a, uh, a multi-grain bagel. And I bought that three days ago, it's probably stale. So we're instead doing regular old English muffins. In the spirit of this movie, I bet people can't tell the difference between a bagel and an English muffin. Here we go. Okay, so, white chicks, what can you say? At the beginning of this movie, um, they screw up a drug bust because one of the guys who they're, uh, you know, the guy comes in and he's like, hey, I got your ice cream delivery. Oh, what flavor? Oh, it's vanilla, like your ass. You know, he's all suspicious. And then they get into a, a fight scene and turns out, uh-oh, no, they were actually the, uh, the regular ice cream guys. And then later the guys, uh, the real drug dealers step in and they're like, hey, uh, we got your ice cream. And it's like, oh, I'm not looking at the toaster right now. And they're like, um, did you notice that the two, uh, Guys with badges hanging out of their shirts right now. Um, did you notice that by chance? You know, it's like they just walk in and they're like, hey, let me say my secret plan. Uh oh, you guys have badges, let me go. So yeah, uh, and then they get uh, screwed on this one security detail no one else wants to do, these socialites, but then they get little tiny marks in their face after a car accident. It won't go. So in the course of three hours, they make up this makeup that makes them look like them. Now here's the difference between this movie and Little Man, is the fact that in White Chicks, they're supposed to be people that the other people know, and that they are like, oh hey, it's you, when it's like no one would confuse them for them because they're, you know, like seven or eight inches taller, and you know, broad and like tall and everything, you know, every, you know they're just much larger and every scale, and they don't really look like them. Now, all things considered, actually, the makeup is about as good as you could expect for what they're attempting to make it do, but it's not like Little Man, where it's a, it's a, um, computer deceit, where it's like, look, okay, yeah, occasionally his head doesn't really look like it's there. Um, but on the other hand, it's actually a small guy there, and it's not like, oh, you know, I, I'm willing to forgive that one a little more. Okay, what was actually sort of funny in this movie? Um, you know the scene of the trailer where they start trying to sing A Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlson? One of the things that didn't make me laugh, which isn't in that, is, uh, when they're like, that song goes then, uh, just to see you tonight, and they go, see you, smile, tonight, tonight. I thought that was funny. That was pretty much it. And the fact that when they're doing the, um, doing braids during, uh, the slumber, uh, the slumber party, uh, he gives her cornrows, which I think is funny, and, you know, bless her for actually getting the cornrows, because I thought those things hurt like hell. Um, but then they're, like, at their slumber party, and I don't know if this is an actual thing, they don't ever really do it, but then one of them pulls out a, uh, a dildo. Wow, we're really bright here, I don't know what the deal is. He pulls out this, uh, dildo, and they're like, okay, show me. And they start, he starts doing these other techniques, none of them that actually involve putting it in your mouth, because I'm pretty sure that would make the movie rated R. So it's like, alright, this is a, this is a weird scene. Uh, and then, okay, here's another problem. Um, I'd like to cut to the players. I'm going to cut to the players later and shoot it later, because I literally don't have that much time. So here's the, I got maybe a couple scenes, so please put your hands together and we'll be the animate players. Listen here, boys. You guys might have unconventional wisdom in extremely unconventional ways, but I'm still chief around here. And this time you screwed up far too much for this movie to allow. Give me your badge and your shield and your guns. Wait, I repeated one of them, but do that what I just said. You can't fire off. I just did. Do you guys want pizza? Man, we should have stayed for that pizza. Don't forget it, tube guy. We've been fired. Oh, uh, this is all this big breakup moment. I don't like you anymore. We gotta go away. But on the other hand, here's a crucial piece of information that we've just received that changes how we view this case. 
Oh man, we're gonna crack this thing wide open. It's time for the third act. But up, but. And now welcome to the again for the scene. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, you know, since we're in the same class, why don't we uh study Latin together? Well, uh, I'd like to, but uh, I don't think my girlfriend would uh, like that very much. Uh, hello. You were supposed to meet me at the bus stop six seconds ago. Now come on, you gotta rub my feet. I gotta go. Despite my obvious sympathy and affection towards you and the fact that they don't color me as a total jerk that somehow was dating her, yeah, I guess I'll just look at you from afar with great sympathy as I walk away and every time that she belittles you. And at the end, we'll have a little moment we'll be like, yeah, you know, maybe you were rad and you'll either accept me if I'm nice enough or you'll reject me if I'm a boob. Anyway, bye. Oh, dreamboat. We already did the scene with, um, uh, the, oh, I brought something back. Like, they actually find the real girls and they're like, oh, look, these are them in disguise. And they're ripping off their clothes like it's the end of Ace Ventura. Um, but, uh, the thing is, you know, they're supposed to be investigating. And what's one of the, um, the one played by Sean, I don't know what their character names are, um, goes up to this, um, reporter. And then talks in his own voice for a moment before the person's like, oh no, you're the socialite woman. Hi. How you doing? Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, how often do FBI agents talk with reporters, like, willingly? And then he pretends to be Terry Crews' character and take her to his house because, like, okay, he pretends to be the, the valet. And take his car and go into his house and take her in it to pretend that he's him so we can get information out of him. To seduce her or whatever. And it's like, you know, but except the, the housekeeper doesn't recognize him. The... You know, it's like, or, and the dog doesn't recognize him. He's like, why? Why are you doing this? This is so needlessly complicated. Like, to gain her trust or seduce her. And then it's like, okay, you need to call, mom's going to call you. And, uh, and say, look, you're going to pick me up. And it's like, well, where's the girl going to go? You're going to take her to the car. It's like, hey, we're going to go, can you stay at the gas station? And we're going to go back to my, my sort of not that great place. I have no idea what we're so blown out today in the video. Uh, da, 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 da. This is that sun, blah blah blah. I don't know. This movie is definitely worthy of analysis. It's just, you know, weird and not particularly funny. I'm not gonna go out and declare it racist because I, I basically, I don't know if I, I'm able to determine that unless it's really, really obvious. Uh, okay, in the middle of the movie, about the uh, one hour something mark, there's a dance routine. Um, and it's like, yeah, uh, what's the deal with this? You know, like they have a dance off, um, and the, the white chicks win. I don't know, I'm done talking about this. It's, I could go on longer, I might not have trouble, and I'm running out of time. So, thank you for watching. What'll be for uh, March? Hmm, peanut butter. Let's find out uh, next week. Thank you for watching. This is cool. Drive home safe. Oh. So I finally made my premiere. Yeah, you know, we finally had to see what we could use you for. You know, uh, I joined the players at the same time as a double Batman, and uh, I don't think I've had quite as much uh, exposure as him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What show are you from? I don't know. So, hey, if anyone out there knows what show this guy's from, uh, let me know. I'm really curious. I don't have a clue.